All right, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we are doing a super simple but super clean haircut. What, what I ended up doing was I ended up doing a four all the way around and then I did about like mid tapers right there on the side and on the back. Uh, we're also gonna be focusing on the beard, making sure that it's nice and crispy and everything is just gonna look, it's, it's gonna look fire. So you guys definitely wanna stay tuned to the very end to see the final look. But right here, like I said, I am doing a number four. I am using my Stylecraft Rebels with the number four guard with the lever all the way closed. Just making sure that I'm going in every single direction just because he has hair going in literally every single direction. So I really want to get it as even as I can for a better cut. And let me know in the comments section down below what clippers you guys are using in 2022. I would love to know your guys' feedback. Alright you guys, so for the taper, I'm going to be starting off in the neck and I'm using my baby list trimmers to go ahead and set in my first initial guideline and I'm just really making sure that I'm trying to make it as straight as possible. And then once I go in to kind of shave everything off, I'm trying to get every single hair just trying to be as neat as possible. And this trimmer actually has a brand new blade on it and I didn't do anything whatsoever to it so it's really not zero gapped at all. So. It's really going to be more comfortable for my client once I'm going in and just because you're pretty much like scraping off every single hair right here. So um, not messing with it, I find is a little bit easier on their skin uh, to where it doesn't get red or irritated. But here I'm switching back over to my Stylecraft uh, Rebels and starting off with the lever all the way open. I'm going to go ahead and create my first guideline by going up about an inch. So now I'm gonna begin to blend out the bottom line, starting off with the lever all the way closed. And I'm, gonna be, I'm actually gonna be using every single notch that I have on the clipper. The notches are the, the indents right there that are on the side. They'll tell you uh, exactly what position you are with the lever. So I'm gonna be working up, going up about quarter of an inch, every single notch that I go up, all the way to, to the top where was the lever all the way open. So now for this side, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, starting off with the lever all the way closed. So now I'm switching over to my number one guard and starting off with the lever all the way closed, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new guideline going up about half an inch and I'm really focusing on flicking out. That way I'm not leaving such a harsh line. Now I'm opening the lever all the way and continuing to blend up, kind of skipping a step. I'm gonna be going up about half an inch to a quarter inch. So here I'm using my half guard and I'm going to be working from the bottom to the top trying to remove the bottom line as best as I can. Just really just playing with the lever starting off at the close position then working my way up to the halfway and then all the way open. So now I have the one and a half guard attached to my clipper and I'm starting with the lever all the way open and then I'm just going up about an inch to half an inch just really making sure that I'm staying underneath that occipital bone just because I really want to end the taper right about there because then once you pass the occipital bone then it starts to look more like a fade so Here I'm going back in with the one and a half guard, this time with the lever all the way closed. And I'm just trying to lighten up the bottom line best as I can, 
minutes before I move on to the next step. So here I'm doing more detail work with the number one guard with the lever all the way open just because the one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed didn't fully get rid of the bottom line. So I'm kind of going back to my previous step which was the number one guard and just really once again just playing with the lever trying to do as much detail work to blend in any lines that you see. Uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Here I have the half guard attached and once again doing more detail work and it's very important before I move on to my next step that everything is completely blended in. I want to I wanna work as I go so um, whenever I see something wrong I quickly want to fix it because then at the very end you're kind of just guessing at that point. So now here I have my two guard and once again starting off with the lever all the way open just continuing to go up trying to remove as much bulk as I can at the very top. Uh, once you get to these higher guards it's not really going to matter too much. I mean it's just basically just removing uh, more bulk and just softening up the very top line. Alright you guys, so now moving on to the side taper, we're going to begin and start off with my first step, which is using my trimmers to go ahead and set in my bald guideline. And if you guys are noticing, this is going to be kind of like a burst taper in a way. Any Anytime I do any type of mid taper, it's kind of a burst taper because I like to leave um, that hook right there on the side. So uh, by really doing that burst type, I'm, I'm going to be able to leave the hook nice and dark. That way the lineup pops a lot more but right there I was using my clipper with the lever all the way open just to go ahead and set in my first guideline and then I'm gonna really make sure that I'm keeping that same shape that burst shape uh, just so the whole entire taper looks nice and uniform but now I'm going in with my lever all the way closed and and halfway just to go ahead and start to blend out the bottom line and if you guys are noticing I like to use a lot of my corner techniques uh, when I'm doing any type of burst taper just because you do not want to use the entire blade just because you're working with a really small area. So now moving on to my next step I have my half guard attached to my clipper with the lever all the way open I'm creating a new guideline uh, by going up about half an inch. Now here I have the lever at the halfway position and working my way from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna start to slowly uh, um, kind of just fade out the bottom line, just really doing as much detail work as I need to. Now I close the lever all the way just to finish the bottom part. So I'm sure you guys get like the pattern that I do anytime I'm using a new guard. I always like to start off with the lever at the all the way open position and then focus on blending out the bottom line. I just find for me that's the simplest and most easy way to fade hair. So now to fade the beard, it's going to be pretty much the same way as doing the taper. It's just going to be going downwards instead of going up.
to style his hair, I'm going to be using this Peruvian White Miracle Foam. I love using this stuff anytime I'm working with waves or just really just trying to lay down the hair uh, just to uh, make it a lot easier for me to line up and also just really make it look a lot more presentable. And you kind of do want to apply a generous amount to the hair just so all the hair is kind of covered and then I like to grab my uh, brush, my wave brush and just really brush it all the way in. That way it's all evenly distributed. Now I'm putting a do-rag on his hair that way all the hair really is forced to lay down and then I'm gonna be using my Dyson blow dryer just to give it a little bit of heat that way everything dries a lot faster. Perfect. So now that the product is nice and dry, I'm going in with my trimmers and these are going to be my actual liners. I have these modified to where they're super sharp and make it super easy to cut. Now for this step, it's 100% optional, but for me, uh, as soon as my client walks out the chair, he's pretty much a walking billboard for you. So uh, whenever he's walking down to the store or just whatever he's doing, a lot of people are gonna be looking at his haircut and wondering where he got his haircut at. And if it looks super dope and super crispy, they're gonna wanna come check you out. They're gonna want to research you and do everything they can to see what they have to do to get in your chair. So. You always want to leave your clients as fresh as they can be. Now, just in case you guys forgot how my client walked in, this is the before and this is the after. 
Now, I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you guys did, please hit that thumbs up. It really lets me know that you guys are liking this type of content and it motivates me to create more content like this. So hit that thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment on the comment section down below, leaving your guys' feedback. But that's it for me this week, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.